Well, now back to the flooding and all the evidence, says the Met Office, points to climate change. Their latest research has been tracking the changing patterns which have led to these unprecedented storms. Our weather presenter, Liam Dutton, what's going on then? Well, it's astonishing, John, the weather we've seen over the past two months. Storm after storm slamming into our shores. And, of course, yesterday the Met Office said that all the evidence points to climate change playing a huge role in this. And, uh, it First just, time they've said that. It is, and it could just be the case that we see more and more of this as we head into the future. This winter has been exceptional. Since late December, storm after storm has battered our shores, each one biting away at the coastline and dumping more water upon our saturated land. Whilst there's no denying how beautiful these beasts look from space, when looking at from the ground, the dark skies hold nothing but misery. Records have tumbled, with the statistics as startling as the picture on the ground. England and Wales have had the wettest January since records began in 1766. And if that wasn't enough, southwest England has had 39% of its average February rainfall in the first four days of the month. And still, the rain keeps on falling. Southwest England has borne the brunt of the stormy weather that has left the Somerset levels underwater for more than a month. No sooner than the water is pumped away, more of it falls from the sky. Severe gales have battered the coastline, ripping through sea defences and leaving the main railway line to Cornwall heavily damaged. As the rain seeps into rivers, they too are now rising rapidly, with the River Thames at record levels and threatening to flood thousands of homes. And the driver of these vicious storms, the jet stream, which has been 30% stronger than normal this winter, due to factors from as far afield as the tropics and the Arctic. With the jet stream showing no signs of weakening any time soon, things are only going to get worse before they get better. Liam, what we're standing in here is what fell upstream two days ago. It what is, now? Uh, and it's not looking great, John. There's more heavy rain to come across southern England in the next couple of days, 20 to 40 millimetres. That falling on saturated ground, it's going to run into the rivers quickly. And the Environment Agency are particularly concerned along the Thames for Windsor and Maidenhead and Surrey in the next couple of days in the wider reaches of southern England too. It's not great news, John. Liam Dutton, his full report in just a moment. But from the Somerset levels, from Lou in Cornwall, and from here in Radlebury, uh, that is Channel 4 News. Join us again, same time, tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Good evening.